Thanks for staying with us. We're still having the conversation of what happened and the KFC had to be shut down. And, you know, we're reading the comments. Some Nigerians were saying that um, why did the fan move to shut down that um, outlet of KFC? Mm. Uh, that they did that swiftly because it was a politician's son that it happened to on one hand. Others were saying it had nothing to do with a politician's son. After all, the manager did not know he was a politician's son and you know treated him that way mm -hmm. now this goes to um what sort of trainings do we give to people who help us manage our businesses and aside from this particular issue i've seen several issues where the people handling you know the customer service people treat customers badly they just talk anyhow to them they give you some certain rules that you don't understand now when you see the owner of the place and you present the matter, they say, ah, but we didn't give you this instruction. Why didn't you answer like this? Why didn't you do this? And I'm asking, what sort of training do we give to people who work for us? Do we also understand some laws in terms of how to treat our customers ourselves? Because if we don't understand it ourselves, we'll not be able to train the people who are working for us on how to handle customers. But what are you um, saying about um, the fact that the government moved quickly, fan moved quickly to fact, shutting no. down it's the a matter establishment? Of, it's, a matter it's a matter of, of class and yes. status, and that's a fact. Wow. I have um, the um, Muslims living with disability, Muslims with impaired vision. Okay. A, a book that I partner with. And you don't see the same reaction because they are just ordinary Nigerians. Oh. And that's the sad part of the politicking. The sad reality is that if he did not have that platform of being the politician's son, this movement would still be slow. Most businesses, if you check, filling stations, even hospitals, treat yes. people living with disabilities with disdain. Yeah. An average Nigerian will say, I don't want to have a child with impaired uh, vision or the one with a, a bit of defor deformity, uh, mental-wise. So you, they call them names. And you don't see consequences immediately. If it had been, we would not get here. Mm. The mentality would have changed. If you knew that the consequences were, 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 were as grievous as your actions. But we see that continuously happening until we had this incident. This incident has raised an issue. And I'd like the young man in question to be an advocate. Yeah. Going forward mm. for people living, because they go through a lot of they things. Yeah. You want to get in on a bus, you're going out. I used to have a friend who was blind. He's, he's still blind. He's a broadcaster. And when I take him halfway to Badagri, I have to come down. I first of all, find a place to park. He can handle himself. He did not ask for any help because he, he, he likes to carry himself with dignity. But he will, I will find a way to park. This is me being empathetic. Mm. Follow him to the nearest bus before, I, first of all, sorting out his cash. So we put a thousand naira in the left pocket, this one in the wallet, so he knows what he's paying for. But we, I, I see what he goes through. And I would like that. It is just natural. It is just non, norm. Because we have all the laws in question that have been co uh, contravened. We have laws ensuring that they have their rights and their rights are protected. Mm -hmm. But who enforces them? Who implements exactly. If he reaches out to the nearest police officer that see this person just took my the money and didn't give me change, he say, yeah, sorry, yes. you, you have gone. That's if he got sorry. That's if he, that's <laughs> you, so that's if he gets sorry. So, so we know, sorry, my Rama, uh, Ramato, we know that. People are dealing, people living with disabilities have a tougher life to yeah, live in Nigeria. We know that fact. Real. But we have this reaction because he has a platform. Mm. This happened um, some time back, I think, under Jonathan's government. The Navy officers, usually, when they want to abuse anybody, they would abuse the person. Or a young lady was abused by a Navy officer in Lagos, and her clothes were torn off her yeah, in broad daylight yeah. because her father was the clerk mm. of the National Assembly. We got a reaction. Do you know how many petitions lawyers are writing today? They, they, will, they will still have to have, get it published by a newspaper before the government will react to it. This is when it becomes an embarrassment. Mm. That government reacts. Very so this, that is, this one is another truth that we must address. If it wasn't a Daniel or Senator Gwenga Daniel's son, would, would this, this be the reaction? Mm. Thank Let's you. take this I call from Tunde. Tunde from Magodo. Good morning, Tunde. Hello. Good morning, BC. I understand what you're Hello. saying. Hello. I agree with Nima. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I agree I with Nima. It's, it's not only trees. Our customer service in Nigeria yeah, yeah. is very poor. Uh, Nima, I don't agree with you. Very, very poor. 
I was no, I'm a BP patient. I was, I encountered what you are saying about the month Hold ago. On, I, I'm a BP patient. Anything, but it's okay. mm. Can you hear me? Nobody's talking. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Okay, so I don't agree with you that it's coming from a political point of view. Yes, it's happened to him. And he, because he's a popular person, at least he's bringing it out mm -hmm. for it to be handled and all. It can happen to anybody. It's not, it's not, it's not because his dad is, he, he's just an ordinary citizen. Mm -hmm. And you know when it happened, the person did not even know that he's somebody's, uh, um, his father is that wealthy or something. You understand? So she treated him based on being a Nigerian. But the government, what no, she's saying, saying is, is government. the government's reaction Reaction's was based so off of the fact that he was a politician's son. So he son. tweeted. Mm -hmm. He has the platform. He has not just that platform. He has a political backing. So when his tweet was done, he got the right reaction. Attention. Which is the yeah. reaction any disabled person who alleges any such act should to be treated, especially when they even have video evidence of it. Mm. But we have so many of them whose petitions are lying waiting. Because government will say, oh, one office, the letter is before one office, we have set up a body, an agency to see to this, the body for the kidney cause. I have this association, Muslim Association of Visually Impaired uh, in Nigeria that I go to. And when they organize their event, even at the local government where it was organized last year, no government official attended. Wow. Not one attended. And we're talking about the reaction that you must give to them. You know, I go there, I enjoy sitting with them because I see what they can do and it reminds me to, be, to live a humble life. Mm. But how many of us in political offices would say, oh, these people are doing something, let me show up? Yeah, we have another caller, Olumu from Ilori. Good morning. Good morning. Greetings to everyone. Welcome. Greetings to you. Too. And we have to uh, the problem you are having in Nigeria is that it's just off the dollar. Meaning that it's the fact that the matter is to the fact that it will be affected in that manner. What is it like a two and just a copy in front of the pandemic and then you're like, you need your parents to be affected. Will anybody even take any action? So we should learn how to love each other. It could be anybody. In as much as we are still living, anybody, God forbid, can find himself in that position. So the person should have thought that, okay, what of if, if it was him or her doing that, what would he do? So that is just my concern. We should know how to relate with each other. And I believe closing down, well, I wouldn't know the, uh, the extent at which people are attending, we were closing down that place. So my own point of view, it's not the best thing. You could have allowed business to be going on and take other measures to address the issue. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, thank so you, ma'am. To, to you know a few things you had mentioned when you started. You said about um, um, the sort of people we employ mm -hmm. and the training that we give them. So um, you know, usually for establishments like that, they say that at least have a, a BS, a, a degree from the university. So we assume that people be, um, that have that have that it. level of education would have that level of exposure. We mm -hmm. have a certain level of exposure. Mm -hmm. So you may not think that to sit with them and explain to them the importance of inclusivity. You would think that you know that, that is know. common mm -hmm. to the person. But we know that but in the Nigerian setting we cannot assume that. So I agree with you, we need to take extra time to train mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. But it also falls to the establishment. If we go to that KFC is there anything that's been put, you know, to allow wheelchairs exactly. to go Why? into that establishment? If it was there, even if they do not have any special training for her, she knows she that, oh, okay, there's this is ramp. to allow, there's a ramp to allow wheelchairs mm -hmm. access. She knows to allow people who use wheelchairs. So even you in your establishment, you haven't put that in. Mm. And the, and, and the um, airport authorities, you do not insist that those facilities be placed there as Thank a business you. that is doing bus uh, as an, uh, a business that's doing business in your on your premises so the, that problem is everybody's problem if she knows about um, handicap parking if she shows if if she sees that there's parking reserved for handicap people there she, nobody, she would, needs, to nobody needs to tell her nobody needs to give her extra training just hold on please Ramat. then um we also said that if you now we now went to the fact that because of who he is it gave um it allowed for government to 
respond as quickly as it as did. It and did. I believe truthfully that that was the case. Mm. Anyone else who did not have that name, the influence, the platform, and all would not get that immediate response from government. That's just the truth. Mm. But I don't see it as a negative thing. What I see, I see it as a positive thing. Yeah. But also, I'm using it to charge people with influence, with name, to get involved in issues like, like this. this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, you yeah. know, sometimes we create these bubbles and think it will never happen Not to us. And look at it, it has happened to you. a son of a former governor. Mm. So mm. if we don't use our platforms well, if we don't... If we don't give back to communities, things will end up happening to family members who are not there, and then you can sometimes a little too late. Mm. So someone like him, I like what um, Nima was saying. He needs to find, he needs to get involved in advocacy for people living with disabilities. We've had a young man here who had some form of mus uh, muscular atrophy. Mm -hmm. He speaks so well. Are you advocates. met him? Yes, I met him. He, he, he you know, he's constantly his talking brilliant about. Young man. Yes, brilliant, well educated, well exposed, and he gives voice, mm -hmm. you know, to a lot of people that face, are yeah. in this um, that are in that situation so I hope for uh, mr. Um, Daniel that Daniel that he will do something you know beyond just this tweet mm -hmm. that he would be Take a name a himself. brand mm -hmm. and an advocate for mm -hmm. people living in disability and insisting because he also has access to government now yes. mm -hmm. insisting that government makes it compulsory mm -hmm. for establishments to create facilities for people living in disability so that they can live with some dignity and conduct themselves in the world with some dignity. Yeah, let me take this call. Mm -hmm. Tom from Abuja, then I'll come to Ramatu. Good morning, Tom. Are you there? Mm. I can't. It's gone. Okay. Ramatu, you wanted to say something? Yeah, so what I wanted to say was that, um, that are you sure? We're just debunking the fact that it's possible that the management told her that um, people, with, uh, people with disabilities are not allowed. It's also possible. Mm. They must have yeah. told her. For her, she, was, she stood her ground and said that they are not allowed in mm. there. So the way you are saying that um, she's supposed to use her um, common, sense. common sense and all of that, but she's working according to instructions. She was giving that instructions. She's the staff. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. 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 Maybe one incident at that point where exactly. the superior so said to her. So them to close it down a bit because you know Nigerians to a large extent we may overreact. Mm -hmm. So let them close, let them shut it down for a while. I know they are going to open it and all because. KFC is an international brand. Mm -hmm. It is. Abroad, when you see where the um, people with, um, where they pack, you see it's, they, yeah. they draw it there, yeah. on the, you go and pack there. It's a serious So offense. why didn't they put it here? Mm -hmm. Could it be we also have the franchise? Law. There's no law we they have, have there. The there's, there's, there's enforcement. There's no enforcement. Exactly. <laughs> so um, Ramat hits something. So some things can happen, and you have your your superior just says to you, next time, don't allow this kind of people here. Yeah. Mm, and so she'll happened. be very emphatic, emphatic when she's saying it that we don't allow. But now, sadly, in Nigeria, she's the, goal, she's the sacrificial <laughs> lamb. Yeah. She's the she be So what is KFC stand mm. on this disreputable, disreputable act towards their establishment? See, today, I have not read it. They have not written it. Do you understand? Written, no, they Please read it. Okay. Because I'm they should take a stand, and an apology should have been tendered by the establishment to Mr. Daniels immediately. Yeah. The moment somebody says this, your PR should come out and let the world know that you're not that wicked face mm. we're calling you as a brand. Yeah. You know, come out immediately. I've not heard them. We've not heard that the lady has no, been I... relieved of her duties, which are the things that they should do so that to, to reassure government that they don't deserve a lockdown. Because President, if you ask me personally, lock it. Okay, so lock it. In the spirit <laughs> of this business, yeah. 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 So that they, no, they, they should do the right yeah. thing. Exactly. In the spirit yeah. of fair hearing, I don't have it, but I'll keep looking for it. Yes. I saw the producers may help us. Yes. Yes. I, I saw a response from KFC yes. saying that this has not, this is not in keeping with their values Better and what they all. believe Better. in. I and they will sort, you know, that house in, in house. But I'll look for it and also read also, it. Out. All right, mm -hmm. ladies, let's take a chill pill. When we come back, we continue this conversation. We spread it across other aspects of life. Stay with us. Stay tuned.